Hi, this is Sue with Creations by Sue, and I'm going to be doing a three-year-old birthday shirt on the embroidery machine. The number three and the flamingo body both require fabric to be laid down because they are applique designs. And I could lay the fabric down in a square, which I've done before, and then I cut around each stitch line once the machine stitches them, but I find it much easier to cut that fabric out on the scan and cut, and then I can just lay it on the design and let it be stitched on without needing to cut all around and you know trimming it. So in order to do that, I am in Embrilliance Essential Software, and I need to find the stitch line of each design and then make it into a cut file. So in order to do that, I have expanded over here on the right. I've expanded out the design here. I'll put it back to right now. It's just there with a plus sign. And in order to expand it out, I press the plus sign. And now it shows me each step of stitching, which is really nice. So I go to step number one for the three, which is the applique position and press that. And then down here, you can see right here, the moss green. So I'll click that color box. And right now, on this little screen that popped up, it's showing me the color choices I have. But I want to go to Applique. So I click Applique. Style right now is in Applique position, but it might not be not, it might be in not Applique. So you just need to get to the Applique position. And then I'm going to be saving, and you can see here that it's inflated 1.8 millimeters. I'm going to deflate that just a little because I find sometimes 1.8, I have to do a little bit of trimming. So I'm going to go to 1.7 millimeters. You can find the sweet spot that works for you when you do this yourself. Then I'm going to press save, and that's taking me to, a, to my files on my computer. I'm not going to put this in Etsy Designs. You can put it in whatever... Uh, area you want to put it in on your computer, but I like to put it in my documents. You can see I've got some other appliques that I did earlier in there. This one is named Flamingo number three down here, and then it's in an, it's going to be made into saved as an SVG file. Make sure that that is showing on the save as type area on your computer. And I'm using a Windows 11. Might be a little different for other programs. And then I press save. Okay, and then it gives me this little DPI box, and that's fine with me. I don't usually even read that. And then um, press OK, and that's done with the three. Now I need to go to the Flamingo, and so I'm going to go back over to this box and scroll down and find the first stitch of the Flamingo, which is number five. So I'll press that. Oops. Okay, that works. And then do the same thing over. Press the color box over here on the right. Up comes this pop-up box. Go to applique. Here, this one came up automatically. It's not applique. So I need it to be applique position. It saved my inflate to 1.7. I'm going to save this one. And then this one, I'm going to name a little different here. Flamingo body is what I'm going to type in. So erase part of that, press save, and that is going to be ready to go. And then now I will show you, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to say OK. OK, so now the next thing I'll show you is how to transfer it to your machine via your computer internet system. Here I am in Canvas Workspace, which is where I need to be in order to transfer this design over to the machine eventually. But here we go. We're going to open a new page. And then I need to transfer my designs onto this. So I go to the SVG folder, which is right here, or icon, I should call it, on the top there. Fourth icon over from the left. Press that. And then I choose my file, so I'm going to press Choose File, and I need to go into my Documents because that's where I saved it. And we are, and I'm in Documents. So now I scroll down, and there is my flamingo body and number. So I'll do the number first. Press that. 
press flamingo number or whatever you name your file, press open. There it is. Press OK. And there it is. The number three. So move that over. And I like to move that over because the flamingo body now or whatever else you're pulling up is going to come into the same spot when you open it. And sometimes I find it hard to get them to move once they're on top of each other. So I'm pressing SVG again. Choose my file. And my file is going to be flamingo body. Open. And press OK. And there's the body. So there we go. I'm just moving these. And once it gets onto the scan and cut, it's super easy to move them around there too. So I'll, I will finish that there. Then I go over here to this large download uh, icon and press that. And I'm going to scan and cut transfer via the cloud or internet in my home. So I can just press this. And the design will be transferred over to my machine. So I will take you there and you'll be able to see the design. Here we are at the Scan and Cut. I have the Scan and Cut SDX225F. And I'm going to press this lower icon on the bottom left, Retrieve Data. And I transferred it via the cloud. So that's the icon I will press. I could have also put it on a USB stick and you know, got it from that. I could have hooked my or con connected my computer right to my scan and cut and done it that way, but I love doing it the cloud way. So there's that. And there's my design all set to go. For this project, I will be using my scan and cut fabric mat and also the fabric cutting blade right over here. What I've done is ironed heat and bond light onto the back of each of these pieces of fabric and then I pull the paper off so that I just have the fabric and the actual heat and bond light material on the back. And then I put that on the mat and roll it on with a pie roller. But I know they have rollers specially made for the Brothers Scan and Cut that you can use or you could use an off-brand. And I first thing I need to do here is to scan this in so the machine picks up where the fabric is located. And in order to do that, I'm pressing this icon in the middle, third down, press that, and it will then I press start. And it's scanning now and it'll show where that fabric is. If you watch the screen, you'll see that come up. There it is on the screen. And I'm going to move my three over so it's on the fabric. And the same with the flamingo. There we go, that looks really good. Actually, I'm going to move the flamingo over just a little bit because it might be that I can use this bit of fabric for something else in the future. And I have the three down about as far as I want to go. I want to make sure there's enough fabric all the way around each one of these so they cut well and don't pull off the mat. And then I'll press OK. Please select. I'm going to be cutting, so I press Cut. And then I want to check my settings. I go to the toolbox. Cut speed at 1, which is what I advise with fabric. You want to go really slow because it is harder to cut for the machine is what I have found. I have my cut pressure at auto. That has worked well for me. So I'll press OK. And then if you want to do a test cut, you can press the test icon here and it'll give you options of a little piece of fabric to or a little design to test cut on your fabric and you just move the little design to where you want it to cut when that comes up. But I'm going to go ahead and start and not do a test. So press start and it will start cutting. And I do stay by the machine when it's cutting fabric just in case the fabric starts to pull off the mat. And then I'm ready to press stop. Here is the stop key if that were to happen and it has happened. Not often, but it's happened. It's 
doing a nice job. I will be demonstrating the applique stitching out on the embroidery machine. I'm still deciding if I'm going to do it on my brother or my red line, but you will see when I post the video which one I chose. And then I'll show how I put this onto the, um, onto the applique when it's time, or onto the stitch line that the machine does for the applique. And one thing I'll mention now in case you don't want to watch that video is when I do lay it down, I go ahead, I have a little iron, just one of those little like craft irons, and then I iron on the piece to the article that I am going to stitch, which in this case is a little girl's t-shirt, before I put the final stitches onto that piece. All right, I'll show you the three here get it off the mat so what I do is use a spatula and I just have to find that in my tool kit I like using these little drawers here's my spatula and I will just peel I try not to touch the mat with my fingers at all so I don't take off any of the sticky matter that's on there and my mat needs some cleaning here soon and then I use my spatula to carefully take off this piece and I kind of lift up a corner and then I grab the rest with my fingers and pull it off. And there's the three. And the flamingo should look good too. So, well, I'll go ahead and do that so you can see it. Did have a good amount of material left there, or fabric with the heat and bond on it for a future project. Pull off the flamingo. And there he is. All set to be put on the applique design. All right, well, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video, and be sure to press the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. Happy cutting with your scan and cut and stitching on your machine. Bye.